is we want to create some width in the backswing. And I was uh, watching something with Lee Trevino that was fantastic information. What Lee said, and what I want you to keep in your mind, is when you make this backswing, I don't want you to be able to grab the head of the golf club with your trail hand. If I take the club and I hinge it really early and abruptly like that, where the handle isn't moving much and the head's moving a lot, I can reach out and grab that club head with my hand. What happens when you do that is you get a very steep angle of attack. That club goes driving into the ground and all the energy is headed downward. There's nothing headed through the ball. And so what happens when you do that, you go up like this, slam it into the ground. What starts to happen is you lose spin, you lose consistency in the loft, which means you're not gonna be able to be consistent with your trajectory. And if you can't control trajectory and spin, you don't have a chance of getting this ball up and down. What I want you to feel is I want you to feel that when you're taking it away, we've got some width in that swing. The simplest drill for you is to hit balls with just your trail arm, just trail hand. And when you do this, what you're going to find is I'm not going to hinge the club like this. My hand would come off. What I have to do is I'm going to let this swing. So the head of the golf club is going to be very low and wide. And now when I hit that, what you're going to hear is it's a very, very quiet noise in the mat. Just like that. Now, in order for us to be able to carry this width into the strike in a, in a consistent fashion, we have to get the upper body to go. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little swim noodle. And what I want you to feel is just put this across your chest. And I want you to feel when you come through that you're just gonna almost feel like you're hitting it with your chest. And as you start to do that, what you're gonna find is, is that your hands don't have to have activity to them. So when we come through, and again, this is just a little bit of a drill. So we get in here like this, I've got some width. And now, with very, very light grip pressure, I just want you to feel that your sternum is just moving through the strike. I don't want you to even worry about any of the trajectory stuff or any of that. I just want you to focus on this one thing, getting the, the club to feel like it's moving because this is the power source. The sternum is the power source. And as that starts to happen, now we start to be able to control what's happening with the club face. Now, the last part of this is I don't want to get any flipping going on in my, in my hands. I don't want the hand activity to be uh, a lot. I want it to be very passive. So if I take my club and I rotate it through this way, what will happen is, is that the ball's gonna start to launch left, it'll launch out lower, it'll have less spin, and there'll be no control when it lands on the green. So as I come through, and I do that, you can see that's gonna miss the target. And then when it comes up onto the, onto the screen right there, that's gonna be a very, very low number in the, in the uh, spin rate. So what we wanna do is we wanna be able to control what's happening with the club face. Two ideas, one with this little beach ball right here, and I've got the, the part that we blow the, the beach ball up with right on the top. Now when I come through, what you're gonna find is, as I do this drill, that the beach ball, you can see that perfectly. Great job, Mark. So that's still pointed in an upward direction. If I get a little bit active with my arms and hands in this drill, it will get really uncomfortable. It, it, you'll feel the beach ball moving in the forearms. When I do that, I get a nice soft feeling. And then the second thing, the, the second drill that I want you to feel, and this is a really good one, this is just a gear tie. All you're gonna do with the gear tie is you're just gonna hold it in the grip just like that. And now when I get set up, if I come through here and I get active with my hands, the gear tie is gonna hit my side, it's not gonna hurt. And it's not that heavy at all, so I can hit golf balls with it. When I get body rotated right there, and let my arms go in, what happens is in this, in this space on view here, you can see that the handle of the golf club is pointing to my lead hip. If I come through and flip the hands, the handle of the golf club is now pointing to my trail hip. So what we wanna do when we hit the shot, and this is a great thing for you to, to understand, you wanna look at your finish position. So when I come through here, and I come through the shot, I'm looking at where's the handle pointing? Is it pointing to my lead hip? or is it pointing to my trail hip? If it's pointing to my lead hip, 
then I've done great. If it's pointing to the trail hip, then I've got a problem. So we